A strange turn of events in a brutal murder case in Riverview. A father accused of killing his girlfriend, their daughter, and then trying to kill his son is demanding that son be left out of the investigation. News Channel 8's Avery Cotton covered this story for us as it broke back in March, and she joins us outside the courthouse. We're now with the bizarre update. Investigators say that Ronnie O'Neill attacked his son so brutally he almost died. Now O'Neill is trying to protect the child from investigators. In a handwritten letter, accused killer Ronnie O'Neill tells a judge he's worried for his son's well-being. This after O'Neill allegedly tried to kill the young boy. O'Neill is facing murder, attempted murder, and arson charges following a violent killing spree at his Riverview home back in March. He's accused of killing his girlfriend and mother of his children, Kenyatta Barron, and their young daughter. Investigators say he then went on to stab his son, sending him to the hospital for emergency surgery. All of this before setting their home on fire and yelling Allah Akbar while being taken into custody. Now he writes to a judge, quote, the state is using my own child as a material witness. Therefore, I am protecting my child from any interrogations from law enforcement. He writes that he is worried about the psychological well-being of his son. He's also asked the judge to move the case out of Hillsborough County for a fair trial. Ronnie O'Neill is due in court at 1.30 this afternoon. This letter could be brought up during the hearing. Of course, we'll let you know what happens. In downtown Tampa, Avery Cotton, News Channel 8.